so yeah, I've made a, uh, a bunch of changes to the uh, the last word since I've been here. Uh, one of the main things is the transition section between the diary into the story world. Um, but I will just uh, run through from the first level here. So change the uh, font there on uh, Laura's advice. So sort of handwriting rather than a, uh, a regular boring font there. Uh, got some problems with the page turning at the moment, um, so, but I just need to switch out the images that we put on a, a render text yet. Uh, so one of the things I've changed is adding a arrow that animates in uh, to give players a hint what to do if they get stuck. I'm still working on a, a system for this to make sure it does it at the right time because I need it to uh, not spoil it for players that are going to figure it out but if someone gets stuck and they're you know, going to stop playing the game in frustration then I uh, need it to come in. So the, yeah, I've, I've got a few different rules in mind of how I can, uh, I can make that happen. Also if you move the word as well it needs to cancel the whole thing and like not, not show it to people if they don't need to see it. Um, but I actually quite like the way that that animates in and it's given me a few ideas for sort of other things that I can animate in the diary and I think I really need everything to, to move and be as alive as possible and I'm considering maybe some of the words even have a little bit of bounce when you, you jump on them and things to just make it all feel a lot more sort of alive and interactive. Um, so. Nope. <laughs> just to show you what happens when you die. <laughs> uh, right, yeah, another bug there. But let's uh, jump to the transition section. So, yeah, here you're choosing a name for the uh, character in the story. So you drag that into place. And then you can grab this scrap. And so I still have a few ideas for how I might update this, but so that's the, the transition. There's a few few bugs with the animation going on, but uh, Mark gave me a hand with getting the writing appearing like it's uh, being uh, written in, uh, which is a cool effect, and I want to use lots of places. It does generate like millions of uh, sprites, though, so <laughs> I might try and find a, a way around that. But. Um, so the animation is quite sort of puppety at the moment and you're jumping very high I think actually I want the camera to be a bit closer things to be happening a bit uh, a bit slower and sort of be less less jumping around and more puzzles like in in the long term uh, so here we're using the red fire some fire effects that uh, Bjorn helped me with uh, <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's kind of most of the main bit for this uh, section. Then uh, one thing uh, I've added for one of the other story sections, S still pretty placeholder, but sort of a, a mechanic for when you're uh, lighting the way with the word hope. Uh, so I'm going to have like a big maze of uh, caves and you're sort of having to navigate your way through those. Uh, so a, a few other things that I've uh, sort of learnt or done at uh, Sugan is uh, I've created a uh, press kit for the game. So uh, yeah, we've got uh, that mostly done. A bunch of images for it. Uh, Tan May also helped me uh, create a, a website for it, and uh, they've got the working mailing list on it and a link to the press kit. Uh, and uh, a few different people had sort of said about Visual Studio being really uh, handy and so I started using that and I find it's sort of, uh, it makes programming much easier and I really love the debugging in Visual Studio mm -hmm. and you can just sort of see what's going on in all the variables that much easier and I think in theory you can kind of do all that stuff with MonoDevelop but it just never seems as good to me so I'm yeah, looking forward to, to using Visual Studio when back home. Um, done a few uh, GIFs for the game, Ditto had some good advice that uh, everyone loves GIFs and uh, it's so true, like you just uh, you know, tweet uh, a GIF uh, for the game on 
like Screenshot Saturday and it gets so many more retweets and favourites than, than any regular tweet. Um, so yeah, I've been picking up uh, Premiere and for video editing and Camtasia 8 for video capturing footage of the game, uh, which is yeah, something I've not done loads of before but it's a very useful skill to have. Um, managed to yeah, get the uh, animations for the, the knight character in game. Um, I've added a few new levels as well. Um, so there's ones um, uh, when there's a few. Actually, let's see if I can. Uh, so this is just a placeholder uh, of the internet, but it's sort of um, an example of how I might have some of the the sketches sort of coming to life and doing things in the in the diary. Um, and yeah, I then want to have the, the player interacting with them in different ways. Um, and what else was there? Um, so yeah, uh, Bjorn also helps me with a few camera effects, so uh, like a bit of a vignette around the, the edges and some chromatic uh, aberration or something like that, I think that, uh, yeah, sort of makes it look a bit more filmic and, uh, and interesting. Um, yeah, I think that that's uh, most of the, the new changes, but it's been lots of little things as well, and uh, I just want to say that I, I'm really grateful to everyone that's uh, helped me so much with the, the project. I think pretty much everyone has uh, helped me in a, a variety of different ways, and uh, yeah, with the transition, uh, Nacho and uh, Jarrell gave me a whole bunch of help getting that working and that was kind of one of the main things I really wanted to do here because I really had no idea exactly how I would go about doing it so now I've got that sorted, it's yeah, sort of one of the, the main hurdles out, out, out of the way and most of the, the other stuff in the game is sort of things that I, I know how to do yeah, so it's, it's not so, uh, so scary and uh, yeah, so I'm sort of looking forward to, uh, to all the next steps. And yeah, thanks very much.